Hello, my friends. Today is November 13th, and around the world, since 1998, that has been recognized as World Kindness Day. I love that. In a perfect world, every day should be World Kindness Day, but I think it is important that we at least have a day to recognize how important it is for everyone to be kind. In today's society, that should be a natural reaction to be kind. Unfortunately, sometimes that's not the case. So I'm Lisa Thibodeau. This is a Tib Talk on kindness and how it can make a world of difference if we do it together and we make a conscious effort, a conscious effort to be kind. There are 28 nations involved in this national day that, as I said, started in 1998. It was a World Council in Tokyo that decided that it was important, and their mission, and I'm going to read it, is to celebrate and promote good deeds and have others pledge acts of kindness. That's amazing. If you think about it, acts of kindness, they cost either nothing are very little. And yet, why are we reluctant sometimes to be kind? And yet it comes natural sometimes to be mean or to say things that hurt others' feelings. I'm here to tell you that there is never, ever, ever, no matter how bad your day is, no matter how bad your luck is, no matter how mean someone is to you, there is never a good reason to be unkind, ever. So even if someone has been mean to you, my saying is bless and release. Bless them and release it because if they're being unkind, they're the ones with the problem, not you. And they need prayers. They need someone to, to bless them. They need someone to show them the way. It is never good to, to um, repay unkindness with unkindness again. When we're talking about kindness, as I said, it doesn't have to cost a penny. It can be a smile. It can be good morning to someone. It can be, wow, you cut your hair or, you know, I know you had a rough day, but man, you're a great mom because people need validation. We rise, we feel better if we make others feel better. I'm going to tell you that I know the secret to true happiness. I know it. If you come closer, I'll tell you what it is. The secret is making others happy. That's it. It's so simple, but sometimes so hard for people. If you make others happy and that's your goal, you're going to be happy. It's amazing how that works. If you are always helping, if you are always uplifting others, if you are always validating them, making them feel better, it is going to make you feel better. In today's society, I find a lot of people like to hide behind social media. They like to um, hide behind the wall of the internet. But remember that if it is something you wouldn't say to someone's face, you shouldn't say it to them on the internet, on Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Another thing I want to caution you with is putting negativity out there on Facebook. You know, when someone complains about it, another person will always say, well, it's my personal wall. And that is true, okay? Just like, you know, it's your personal house that you have or your car, but that doesn't mean that you would plast, plaster across your house or your um, car or your heart, you know, to wear um, a cursing word or meanness. That doesn't mean that that's right to do just because 
Yes, you could wear whatever shirt you want. You could paint whatever you want on your house. That still doesn't mean you should do that on your Facebook wall. What I find when someone is on Facebook and they are negative, they are cursing, they are um, calling out other people, it makes them look bad. To me, I go, oh, wow, I need to pray for them. So even if the person that they are calling out did something wrong to them, it usually still makes me feel like you're in the wrong because is that the right way to handle it? Is that the right way to deal with whatever problem it is? It's been my experience in 57 years that the majority of people want to be kind. The majority of people are nice. The majority of people want a better world and want to help others. You just don't talk about it enough. And that's why on my Facebook, I always try to give blessings and inspiration and reminders and happiness, uh, even if it's makeup sometimes, okay? Because makeup makes me happy. When I look in the mirror and I see purple, <laughs> I smile. Let's feel Facebook. Imagine, you know, that's why I hate when people say, my husband always like, oh, social media. It just depends. It's like anything. Are you using it the right way? It depends on how you use it. The fact that I taught for 32 years and I can see my students' children and see them in them and see them grow and see my students who no matter where they live that they are you know thriving with happy homes and good jobs I love that about Facebook I don't like when there's someone negative in fact when it is as I said I bless and release and sometimes block because we don't need any more negativity in the world not one little bit. It is. It does no good whatsoever. You have to think that you are spoiling the world. You are spoiling the life. You are spoiling your life by being negative. And so World Kindness Day, wow. That is just one of the most, it should be a celebrated day. And it should be the start today of every day being a day that you can be kind. Do you just thank somebody for, you know, do you thank your waitress, okay? They're working hard. I don't think there's anybody who like, you know, is a kid and goes, I wanna be a waitress, that's what I want. Or I want to, you know, just whatever. There, there are jobs that people have to do that are not fun. Everybody's dealing with problems, whether it's bills or family or children or, you know, just all kinds of struggles. And you could change that. You. You can make it better. Every single day. Without it costing you a dime. By noticing, by making a phone call, by sending a card, by smiling. You know how many people don't smile? I smile at them and say hello or good morning and they just look at me. But I do my part. I am begging you. I am begging you. Let's make kindness our goal every day. Because if it is, if kindness is your goal every single day, gonna have a better day I guarantee it I used to let negativity sometimes control me I used to let you know my boss irritate me uh, or ruin my day okay or I used to and ever since I've been in unique we we just exude our mission of you know uh, being positive and wow it was like a revelation to me I was like wow that's all it took all it took for, was for me to be positive, to have a different mindset, to look at a different way, to choose being happy, kind. That's all it takes. Try it. 
See if you can take anything that happens bad, turn it into good. Bless and release. Be kind out there. Thanks, everybody.